Hello everybody, this is Maniac 4 Bricks, and I have a LEGO display update to share with you. This is one outside of the LEGO room, that's in my dining room at home, and it's in what is known as the Bird Sanctuary. Very heavily decorated with birds all throughout the room. And, uh, this one does have birds to it as well, but it's just Lego animals in general that my mom likes the sets and wanted to have them propped up. So we actually changed this up to fit it along one large shelf and having these smaller displays to go with them. Recently got the uh, hexagonal shelf that you see there and rearranging the animals on them. Some of them kind of have a theme to it, like over here, we have a lot of them from the LEGO Friends Animal series from several years back. Not all of them, and some of them I have duplicates. I got a whole bunch at that time, around a dollar or so, at uh, Toys R Us when it was open. And I actually used the extra pieces for other mocks, and some of them I actually used for the combiner models right here. So you might see a couple duplicates of animals throughout the display. I may add some more animals in here sometime later, or at least change up some of the, the displays themselves, these little vignettes, if I may. I'd like at some point to try to get more penguins, just in general, not necessarily for the display, but uh, in general I think it would be great to have more penguins, because I like penguins, it's my favorite animal, and um, might do some fun stuff with having a, a crowd of them. All together. We also have up here one of the Lego creator sets with the monkey. I believe he came with a frog or something else that's on the other shelf. But he's carrying the banana, giving it a thumbs up. And we've got Brickbot on the other side of it. I got him Philly Brick Fest a few years ago in the traditional red color, which is very cool and stands up very well right now. We've also got one of my favorite Lego creator sets, especially for animal sets, the Fierce Flyers, several years back. Um, it was like a $15 set when it came out, and it's a great set. I, I think the alternative builds are okay, but I definitely like the main build the best. That's what they usually push for, and um, it's very poseable, very um, articulated. Got a lot of movement along the wings and talons. Really like this model. And being a, uh, a fellow Eagle Scout, <laughs> this seemed appropriate. So moving along here, we have several different Lego... Um, Flowers. This one I did a review on, I think, last year, which was a custom-built one. You can check out the video on my channel. Um, going through it very thoroughly about the instructions of how the custom model was made, um, how uh, articulated, you know, how how well the the building techniques were done in there. Still kind of fragile, but it's also nice having it laid down like this. Maybe I'll build something underneath it to hold that up. Um, we have several of the ones for poly bags. I think Lego Friends had a few of them for poly bags. There was a, a, there was a two set that was from the Lego store. I got it for my mom as a gift, and uh, she asked me to build it. So I have that now here. And we have several animals in here that are also from other creator sets, as well as the build the models from the Lego store when they did that promotion uh, every so often. A couple poly bags in here. I think there are some Lego Classic ones. Those uh, penguins along the back are from Lego Classic. Down here, the snail I think was from the Lego Movie. It was a uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land had that set. And then we have a few more up here. I still love that bug. That is one of the best po uh, poly bags of I think last year. In the last year or the year before, I forget which. It's so much time goes fast. <laughs> and then to wrap it all up. And you can hear the birds chirping in the other room pretty well now. We have the Ideas Birds set. I did not rate this one well uh, before I got it. I didn't think it was, you know, it didn't catch my eye that much. But now that I've actually, I, I built it, I want to say, about a year or so ago. And it's really impressive. When I brought it home, I thought it would be fun to share with my mom and my sister. My sister went ahead and built two-thirds of it right away. She built the Blue Jay and the Hummingbird, followed the instructions very well. Uh, she really likes that, and I built the Robin, you see on top. So, yeah, we, it's definitely a great display piece. Really fits in with the other items in here. You can see a whole bunch of, you know, glass menagerie, uh, a few sides of the room as well. And there's also some plush birds that actually uh, chirp with the appropriate bird call. Uh, so a couple ceramic birds around here, and even more around the room, but, you know, we're just going to stick to this corner for now. 
So yeah, there's a look at the quote-unquote Bird Sanctuary Lego Hannibal display. I did a video about this a while ago, and I thought it would be worth an update now. May change a few other things, but kind of minor for now, so um, not worth a, another video until it's a major update. So thanks for watching this video, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned, because I will be having a video soon about my Lego Halloween display for this year. I uh, just got to find a few more sets, and rebuild them, and that will be up real soon, because we took out the Halloween decorations this weekend. So I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching.